Who do you want as the Prime Minister of New Zealand? Helen Clark, with her such gracefulness. Politicians live their lives in the public glare, so when they slip up, everyone tends to know about it. Or John Key, and his trustworthiness. Confident that the New Zealand public can trust you? Absolutely confident. But what about when it comes to trading in shares? How many shares exactly did you and your family own in Transrail? Sometimes 25,000, sometimes 50,000. Uh, sometimes 50,000, sometimes 100,000, yep. Did you personally buy 50,000 Transrail shares in 2003 and sell them five actually, weeks later? Look, actually, maybe 100,000 from every year. Isn't that an issue you should be clear about? Uh, well, sorry, yeah, it was 100,000, yeah, in total. Or then again, Helen Clark with her aviators. Or still John Key being trustworthy. All right, why when Richard Preble declared that there was a conflict <clears throat> of interest for him, why at that time did you not declare a conflict of interest? Don't know. Um, probably either didn't understand the standing order or might have thought he was doing it because he was a director of Main Freight, but I don't know. You don't know why it didn't know. jog your mind? You don't it know doesn't jog why my you It doesn't actually think... jog my memory him doing that. That was five years ago in the select committee. I would have been uh, relatively new at that point. I don't, I don't remember him doing it, so I'm not going to speak later. I mean... You decide. Labour or National? Election 08. This video is in no way sponsored by government, any political parties or MPs. In no way is this advertising either party, as obviously it is showing flaws of both parties, and is merely intended for comic relief. All views expressed here are merely my own, and have no intention of insulting anyone. Penis cock, titties vagina, beam me up, Scotty.